Hi everyone, this is Stacy. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. For today's video, we're making a project using the Cricut Artiste cartridge from Close to My Heart. Now, you would need to purchase this cartridge from a consultant at Close to My Heart. If you don't have one, I will have one below that I've used in the past and you're able to purchase this whole bundle through her. And they call it a bundle because you get the cartridge, you also get stamp sets, and you get uh, chipboard pieces as well. With this cartridge here, you're going to get assembly booklet as well that tells you how to put all these objects together because you can see throughout the booklet a lot of these are 3D elements and if you look in the assembly booklet here on page 18 we're making this piece here it's called like a, it's called a magazine file folder really great little item to make if you make a lot of cards like I do so you have a place to store them it also tells you here to go to page 47 of the handbook for the actual cuts and you don't need to have a Cricut Explorer to make this you can most certainly make this using any other Cricut machine you like you would just need to follow the handbook so on page 47, there's a little image there, and there's a number 18 next to that. And that, of course, tells you to go to page 18 here on how to assemble it. We're using Accent 3, that feature there. You're going to hit cut that out, hit shift, and then cut it out again using the Accent 3 button because you're, you're going to cut out two pieces that we need to put together to make the actual one holder. The recommended size here is 6 inches, and I went ahead and cut a bunch of those out for all of my cards I make. And this is how they turn out. Aren't they adorable? I love them. And they hold, they fit really nicely, your A2 size cards, which are probably the most popular. And these are four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have quite a few in here. And they're not squished. They're not being destroyed. And a lot of these have ribbons or twine or buttons or some kind of form of 3D element on here. Now, like I said, the book that tells you to cut it out, out at six inches, I did that. But when I put it together, I found it didn't line up correctly, so I kind of had to rig mine a little bit. And I'll share that with you when I, we get to the part of putting it together. Let's first go to the computer. We'll go to Design Space, work on the file, go to the Cricut, cut it out, and then come back here and assemble the uh, project. So I will see you guys over at the computer. Alrighty, guys. To begin making our project, you want to go to the computer and then go to the Cricut Design Space webpage. And you're going to log in by clicking on that green box in the upper left-hand corner. Enter in your email and your password. And then enter, or you can of course hit that little green login button. Oh, that's kind of cute, that little takeout box. Okay. All right, once you're logged in, you want to see your name there in that green box. You then want to go to create new project. And we're going to go ahead and let this load. All right, once that's done loaded, you want to go to the gray toolbar left hand side, click on insert images. And I think I went to all images here. I think I scrolled down to my image sets, I think. And I believe I typed in the cartridge name, which was Artiste. Yes, I did. Now you can see here that cartridge says purchase. This cartridge is not included in the subscription plan with Cricut.com. So you would need to purchase this cartridge, then you can, um, of course, make this project. So I do apologize for using um, a cartridge not in the subscription plan, but this is really cute. I click on that to open up all the images in the cartridge. Now here's the hard part, you got to find those two cuts. I really do wish they had this set up to where it would resemble or mimic the handbook because now I need to kind of scroll down here and find those two pieces. Just keep on scrolling. I know what they look like because I've made it so many times, it's just a matter of finding them on here. Apparently I can't talk and look at the same time. Okay, here is one. See that? Then we're going to hold, hover over that. You see that that's the outside of our box. And it just says holder. Click on that. Make sure that little green check mark is uh, green. Then you want to scroll down and find the other piece. And you can, of course, always refer to your handbook for the picture icon. So you can kind of go back and forth to see what it looks like. And we're going to keep on going down. And here is the other piece there. And that one says shape. Okay, so we're going to click on that. And again, make sure that uh, check mark is green. Hit insert images. They're going to appear on your mat. Now, like the booklet said, we want to size the height of this to be six inches. So we're going to go up top and hit edit. Have one selected. And in our edit panel, in our edit panel excuse me, you want to make sure you have that lock locked up. That way it's going to size everything the right way. So just going to change the numbers and the word height to 6 and then hit enter on the keyboard and that changes the size for you. And do the same thing with this little guy right here. Have them selected, have that lock be locked, 
change the height to be 6 and hit enter on the keyboard and we are good to go. So there's the box and there's the piece that's going to go around the box. Alright, let's go ahead and hit go so we can see how it looks on our mat. It should ask us for two mats. Um, and I'm using 8.5 by 11 cardstock. I'm just using Walmart Georgia Pacific. I think that's fine for this project. Just a card holder. So let that load for a second. Alright, so we have our two images there. Now you see here in the one image that is this piece here, it has only scissors. And this piece has scissors and a score mark. This piece here will score, this one will not, which is kind of odd because all these little dots that you see there, hopefully if I can zoom it doesn't get too blurry. There's all kinds of dots, those little tick marks that we're all used to. We need to, you know, manually um, fold them by ourselves. I'm right, just going to hit go. And we're going to please wait. And once it tells us to load our paper, we're going to go to the Cricut and load it up and cut it out. All right, there we have it. So we're going to go to the Cricut and start cutting. Alrighty guys, we're, I'm fixing to load my paper on my mat. The machine's blinking at me saying, feed me. Alright, so I have my one piece of cardstock going, um, was that horizontal? I think. Okay, hit the load button. And the Cricut tells me to insert my scoring tool. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, let's hit the cut button. I gotta hold this down because my paper is not and my mat is not sick. Look at that. See, it already slid. Hopefully we can save it. Holding it down. You know, I did a video sharing with you guys how to restick your mat. You think I'd go ahead and restick my own, right? I did, but I use them so much. But I also use these in my Cricut Expression, or not my Cricut, the, um, my Cricut Imagine as well. So they do get used quite a bit. And I'm hoping I didn't destroy this cut. I think I'm going to be close. Oh, look at that. Nope. Error, error. Okay, yeah, we're going to let it go. See that? I'm not going to edit it so you guys can see. I'm just going to unload it. Oh, boy. Made a mistake on that one. All right, you know what? We're going to move along and do the second one. Load that up. And then hit the go button. And again, I want to hold this down for dear life. Oh, but I put my paper on the wrong way. Oh boy. It's one of those videos today, guys. You know, probably because it's a thousand degrees in Florida today. I think the heat index is like 110. Wait, there we go. I'm cutting out my mat now. You know what? Let me go ahead and while that's doing that. Oh my god. I went and got two more pieces of cardstock. Let's unload this and take two. Alright, so our first one. Alright, so this is what you see when I'm now I'm doing a video. Major errors. Alright, so we're gonna look at this. So we're gonna cross our fingers, say a little prayer, this is gonna work. Alright, so let me load this up. I think I'm ready to go to the cricket. I do. Like, hang on, I need to hit go in the machine. Oh boy. I'm waiting for my machine. It says, please wait. Alright, it says to hit go. Now right, we are back over here and again. I have all this loaded. I'm looking at it. It's going to hit this little button here. We're going to hold this down again for dear life. All right, hit that again. All right. So you want to pay attention to that mat preview. That's probably why it's there, right? So you can see what your mat looks like before you cut it out. So again, we're just going to hold this down really well. And you can, of course, use like a little um, uh, one of those reposition little glue sticks. I do have one of those, but I thought my mat was okay. Look at that, we're already at four minutes of cutting. Right, so this part is done, almost. I need to do the other side. I did all those little tick marks. Like I said, these tick marks don't score for some reason. That's kind of funny. Oh, oh, let's come on, come on. You're going to do it for me. If not, we're making it work. I'm not going to redo this a third time. 
The third time is not the charm in this case. All right, unload that. I think we'll be okay. Right, let's take this guy off. Put our second mat in. I'm going to do the same way with my paper. Have it be horizontal on the mat. All right, I'm going to put this one in under there and under there. Hit the load button, and again, we're going to hold on. All right, the go button there. And this one, you're going to see, will score. See, it's going to score that fold there, which is kind of so strange. I cannot get over that. I'm hoping this fits on 8 half by 11. It looks like it's going to go right to that edge. We're going to be cutting it close here. Come on. You can do it. All the way over there. Come on. Oh, no, we're not off. We're, we're done. Ugh. Okay, you know what? We're going to go with it. All right, let's unload it. Is that going to be a major error? Let me look at that real quick. I don't think it's going to be a major error. You know what? Let's go to the table and we'll figure this out. All right, guys, we are back with our catastrophe of a video here. But like I said, this is real life. All right, so these score lines that scored, you probably can't even see them because they are barely there. But they're not they're there enough for you guys to score them. All right, so this is the back of the file folder. And like I said, this is all six inches. And my tip of the day is I recommend a sticky mat. So you can see there, it's not gonna line up. We're gonna be a little bit short, but that's okay. We're gonna deal with it. All right, this piece here was our horrible piece. I'm gonna take my scissors and just, just mainly like cut it out. Okay, not a big deal, right? We fixed it. And then this one has all those tick marks. You just kind of fold your paper along the tick marks and then lining them up. Let me zoom you guys a little bit. I'm working on with white paper. And this is um, just Walmart paper, Georgia Pacific brand cardstock. Let's grab this end. Yes, it's like really, really hot today in Florida. It's like you walk outside and you're like in a standstill. You can't even breathe. My poor dog is huffing and puffing. He's on the bed in the AC. But he doesn't want to go outside today. I almost have to drag him out. Drive him with all kinds of treats to get him out there and to go pee. Alright, so there is that. Alright, so now we need to assemble this little doodad here. I'm using a uh, Tombow glue. And you know, if you're using this for yourself, I think it's fine using... Um, you know, you don't need a big old strong glue here. All right, so I have my little two tabs like that. And then just take one and bring it up on the side like that. And you can, of course, use your ATG gun, your snail, any kind of adhesive you like. All right. So we have that guy done. All right, now take glue and put it on these pieces here. And I did kind of go towards the edge here. Okay. Let's glue like that. And then fold this down and flip them over. And again, I'm working with one side, just kind of holding that together. Just that glue kind of makes contact and says we're secure. And then we'll go over here. Okay. All right, so that part, my friends, is our card holder. And this will work just like this. So if you want to just do this piece, I'm all for that as well. All right, let me just make sure this is all done. All right, now the part that does not line up. Now, like I said, this part is all wonky donk, so we can't really pay attention to that one, but you're gonna take this end here and just kind of bring it over here. But you can see, look at that, my bad end cut off perfectly, but it leaves you with this little piece here. That bothers me, I don't like it. Then also here, if you see how, let me, you know what, let me glue this down first. Let's do that. All right, I'll just glue down one end of this okay that'll be the back end and then over here and then over here so you're gluing two long sides and one short side i kind of just hold it down i have my gluey side over here and kind of open this up and just squish it in there and what i'm doing is applying that to the back making sure i'm flush at my table and then bring this over take your hand in there and kind of just press that glue down on that side I'm going to flip it over and do the same for this side. Again, lining it up. I might need a little more glue here. 
but I'll share how I fixed that because like I said, that bothered me how it came like this. And this is the front. This is what people are gonna see or what I'm gonna see. And I want it to look somewhat nice, right? I need to, oh my Lord. Okay, I tried that apart, it wasn't straight. So when you're doing this project, don't talk. <laughs> All right, so we're on there, good. All right, now I'm gonna take my scissors and cut this extra off and you're gonna have it on both sides. Okay, so take that off, that extra piece, and when you cut it, it looks all yucky there, right? And then, this piece here, see this piece there? And then we have that higher piece there. I didn't like that either, because over time, it's gonna be flimsy. So I just took my scissors and kinda went with it. Just cut it. I made it level, like that, and I kinda just angled it up. So this is what I was referring to about me kinda rigging the box to make it work for me, okay? So there's that one. And then this one I kind of started up here and kind of twirled my scissors around so I was more level with that piece down there. Okay, that, my friends, I think is a better finish because it's all level here. So when you put your card in um, like this, it's not going to be interrupted, okay? Now, if you want to decorate or make it more sturdier, I just took, uh, where's mine here? I took a piece of Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper in the yellow families because my room is yellow. Um, you just cut that. I don't have a piece near me that is long enough. You know what? Hang on. I will get one piece. All right, guys. I am back. I went and got a piece of paper, the, um, just designer series paper. This is so saffron. I measured what I did is I measured this up, and this is about two and a quarter inches. I went to two inches, so I'm two inches in thickness here. My sides here were four and a half, so I did four and a half plus four and a half is nine for both sides, and then an inch and a quarter here to give me this piece here. And then I put in my scoring tool and I just went in four and a half inches this way, scored, turned it that way, four and a half inches. And this should fit like that. Okay, see how that is? And you can see it's, it's not as tall, which is what I wanted. I wanted a little bit of the white showing. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this here on the front. And you know, you can use any kind of cardstock you like, but I'm trying to use up my Stampin' Up! paper to make it match my room. And my room is yellow. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this on here first and get that lined up where you like it. Okay, and then once that's done, I flip this over and I put glue on this side. And again, you don't need a whole lot here because like I have in my room, I have a whole bunch of these lined up with one another. So um, it, it holds it really well. Okay, so just get that, let it sit there for a moment. Take that guy off, or flip him around. And then take more of your snail, or whatever kind of adhesive you like, and lay that around like that. Okay, and there is a really cute little file folder. And I just went in there with my hands, and just kind of repressed that designer series paper on there. And then the same here, okay? And then I go wipey, because now I got tumbo fingers, and that glue is really, really sticky. All right, so in there. All right, so there you have it, guys. That's how you make the little file folder. Now, what I did here, I just took a punch that I liked. I punched all the same punches, so again, they all coordinate and match. And I just found a greeting that I like that fit on here. So these are all my thank you cards, and I have birthday cards, thinking of you cards, that kind of thing. So there is today's project. So sorry for the discombobulated video, but... You know, life happens, um, and you guys are <laughs> seeing it kind of firsthand, right? Uh, like I said before, I don't edit my videos, I don't fast forward, or I turn it to fast forward, but anyway, there you have it, guys. Any questions at all, please let me know. If I went too fast, leave me a comment, and I will gladly answer. I will have a picture of this. I actually have my whole card as well. I have a picture of that on Design Space 44 at blogspot.com, so you can see the entire finished project. And again, I'll answer any questions you guys have. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. And I do ask if you like the video, please thumbs it up for me. It does help me out. Um, there you have it, today's card. See you soon. Or today's project.